got to my room. We are staying at Silver Cloud for Kois. Um, I'm here for the 165 course, which is a combination of the first two courses for Kois here in Seattle. And it's an entire week. So it's actually Sunday night right now. Um, super late. I think it's like 10.31. And this is my room. So quick tip for the Silver Cloud Inn is that the fifth floors have fireplaces. So I got in quite late and classes start at 7 a.m. every morning, Monday through Friday. Uh, so I'm just gonna like wash up and go to bed. Good morning, it's around 6.30, Monday morning. So I'm getting ready to go. It's about a seven minute walk, that's what Google says. And um, let me show you like how dark it is outside. I cannot believe that we are starting class every day at 7 a.m. This is how dark it is. Oh, I forgot to mention yesterday that the airport's only like 20 minutes away from this hotel. And this hotel is right across the street from Kois. So it's really like convenient the way that everything is um, situated. Let me show you guys a few things that you are supposed to bring to Kois. So you don't just show up and ask for your CE credits. You have to do a little bit of homework and um, let me show you what those things are. Okay, so before you come, they want you to bring a model of your teeth. So I actually had mine digitally printed. I think this is okay. I asked my mentor if this is okay. So model of your teeth. I think we're doing some sort of mounting exercise with them. And then um, this is my Kois deprogrammer. So you have to have one of these made. I had mine made by Frontier. And then my mentor called and showed, explained to me how to adjust it properly and how often to wear it, et cetera, et cetera. So. You're just supposed to wear it every single day, uh, morning and night. It's just like Invisalign, you only take it out to eat. And I did that in the past week, so you're supposed to wear it one week prior to getting to um, class. We did that. And then, we also want you to download the Kois Reader app, which is its own app. And I don't have the login yet. You, you will only get the login information once you go to the first class. And um, that's where all of the material is. And so you don't get to see it beforehand or anything like that, but that's fine. Um, you download it. There's also like a way to get a paper version, but just keep in mind that the paper version's like 400, I don't know. I actually, I remember seeing the price and I was like, who's gonna buy this? Um, it's quite pricey and also, it takes up a large portion in your luggage and um, I would rather bring boots. <laughs> so, that's that. So I have all my chargers and everything and then we're gonna head out. First day of Kois is over. We literally, I was mistaken, it's not from seven to five, it's from, from seven to six, which is a long time. It's a long time to sit and study not study, but like listen to a lecture. But let me tell you, he's, John Coyce is a very good lecturer and I felt like he is very seasoned. So he, the time just flew by, honestly. Like, yes, you're sitting there for many hours, but there's tons of snacks. Going into a course like this, one of the number one things I wanted to know is, one, is this a course that people love because they spent ten thousand dollars and uh, is it just like one of those things where you drink the kool-aid because you spent money on it um i'm personally not one of those people that drinks the kool-aid that easily i'm a skeptic Hello. so we just finished tuesday classes tonight i am i mean it's 6 30 right now i think i'm just gonna do some social media work right now and then i'm going to Go, go to bed, like watch TV, go to bed. 
and I just FaceTime Byron and little Presto and that's it. I'm having so much fun learning. Like I actually want to stay for like a month. <laughs> that's so, is that so weird? Hello, it is Wednesday night. It's like 10 o'clock and I'm about to head to bed. Today what we did was, what did we do? God, we went more into occlusion. It's like one of those things where he just slowly builds and builds and builds on things and you, you kind of leave the day feeling like, oh my God, what did we learn today? <laughs> A lot of what we were doing today was using the deprogrammer. We also learned to use the Kois glasses um, and take photography, proper photography for the Kois glasses as a reference so that we could make digital mock-ups for patients. So I don't know how many like actual patients would be watching a vlog like this. It might be totally boring for someone who's not a dentist, but um, this is how you stay like top, tip top. Because new technology comes out all the time and it's not like we're in school where we learn all the technology. Like we actually have to go out and learn all the technology ourselves. Um, so it was pretty cool having that. Good morning, it is Thursday morning. I'm gonna try to leave a little bit early today so I can show you guys the inside of Kois. And here we are, the Kois Center. So there's a dental practice here, I guess. Um, if you go that way, it's a dental practice. And this way, right here, is the teaching center. Over there, Bert is where we eat every day. And they actually like feed us really nice, good food every day. It's like super fresh and delicious. All right, let's go in. Okay, this is the classroom. And this is my desk. Kind of a mess because I left it like this yesterday, but when we first came in, it was very, very organized. You get to take home a lot of stuff like this. You get to take that home. It's like a polishing kit thing. We each get our own Kois glasses. We did an, um, a project yesterday, and this desk is really comfortable. This button is like a heater, a heater. So like if you're really cold sitting, then you just turn this on and then there's like a, a foot heater that turns on. Isn't that crazy? And then in here, there's the Kois glasses, there's tractors. Um, they have, there's like pens and things which are all on my desk right now. There's these models, so like we work through all these cases. We only worked through two actually so far. But, and then this is like a little motor thing. And down here, we're able to access the motor and then there's like a rheostat down there as well, built into the desk. And lots of snacks. <laughs> And so they, because of COVID, I think he was saying that they give you like a whole bucket of snacks now, but then they have them all in the front. So like there's like bagels and tons of like drinks and things like that. And I'm at desk 17. Hello, happy Friday. It's the last day of Kois. Oh my God, this is what I'm wearing. Super comfy because I'm going to the airport um, right after class. So um, class on Friday is also from seven to six. <laughs> um, so actually, he did say that he, we're probably stopping at five fifteen. Um, I actually asked one of my friends this when I was booking my flight, but he said that a lot of people come on Friday with their luggage and they go to the airport right after, which is what I'm doing. And so I'm I have to check out at the hotel right now. I packed all my stuff and 
I'm taking it all to Koi's. This is my sim lab mate. What's up? <laughs> Hi. They're both from Canada. This is my certificate. Yay! <laughs> this is my certificate. Look at me. Last day, last day. That's Dr. Koi's. Zoom in on him. He's getting mentally prepared to just kill it today. He always kills it. Like, I don't know how he has so much energy. At the airport, it's currently 6.30, and I'm heading back home. It's all over. Hello, everyone. So I am back home. We're gonna sit down and answer some questions about my experience at Koi Center. This is a course that I've been wanting to take for a really long time, but it's a $10,000 course just for 165, which is the first two classes in the curriculum. So if you were to finish the entire curriculum, you could be like at $50,000. And this is after dental school. Most people I know still have dental school loans. Um, yeah, I guess the overlying question is, is it worth, is this $10,000 course worth it? It's even more money if you're from Canada. So <laughs> let me put you guys down. This is what I think was stand out about the course. It's like, how many times have you been in dental school listening to a lecture and just like falling asleep? Because it's monotone, it's boring. It's like just a whole bunch of facts on the screen and the professor is just reading off the facts. I think what made it really good is that Dr. Coyce is an amazing lecture. So I came to the course all prepared with, you know, my eye pencil and everything. I was like, I'm gonna take notes because that's what I did when I was back at school. That's the only way I could stay awake or stay focused. And in this course, you actually don't even need to take notes at all because Dr. Coyce is explaining everything to you. What's in the manual is everything broken down so that you can just sit and listen. So that is the level of education that you're gonna get there or the quality of the speaking that you'll get there, which is very different than what I'm used to. Let me actually center this more. And I think that's why a lot of people go and spend extra money uh, even after paying $500,000 for their dental school education. Okay, so at least there's three questions that I think most people want to know. Is it worth it if you're an associate? Someone also asked like, at what part in your career path is a course like this worth to take? I take 50 CE courses and throughout my entire career, I started off just doing the CE courses just to get the CE courses. At a certain point, I think my mind shifted a little bit where I realized in the last 10 years of doing continuing education courses, the quality of the courses were so fragmented. You know, you could do like one hour here, one hour there. They're all different people and they're all different subjects. And like at the end, I walk away and I feel like I didn't really get anything from them. I spent the time, but I didn't learn that much. This is the first CE course I think that I've prioritized the quality in where I left home. I have an 11 month old baby. So I left him at home with my husband. I closed the office halfway and I flew and I was there for an entire week. That is a huge, huge commitment, but I think it's worth it because whether we like to believe it or not, um, there are different levels in quality in a CE course. And if you think about it, if you go to one course and every single day is for an entire week is built on each other, you're gonna come back with that amount of time that you spent being way more worth it in terms of what you've learned. You're actually learning systems um, instead of factoids. I think that this type of education is worth it, you know, but it always comes back to what, is it something that you can implement? If you're an associate, mo most of the time you can't implement this. If you're planning on opening a practice, then I think that is 100% it's a no-brainer um, taking the course because you're gonna be able to implement it. But when you're associate, it's a little bit tougher. For me personally, I think the best thing to do if I was a new dentist is start working, get my hands wet, um, build the speed, 
work in a few different styles of practice and see what's out there. And then maybe at about a year or something like that, I would take a course like this. And taking a course like this after you have a little bit of educate or um, a little bit of clinical experience under your belt, I think would land um, more for me. Like it would be infused in my brain because every time he would talk about a, cer a certain situation, a specific patient would pop into my mind. Like, oh, one of my patients is like this. I wish I took this course years ago. I wish. Something that you would need the power to do in order to start practicing in the way that he wants us to is to implement the new patient forms, the medical history and the dental history. And if you cannot do both of those things, it'll be very hard to um, get started on this because it all starts with the patient's medical and dental history. If you're in a situation where you can um, implement those two forms, then it this course, I, again, is a no-brainer, but if you don't really own the practice or you work for a DSO, it might be a little bit tougher to implement this into your practice or start utilizing the information that you learn. Still worth it to learn the information, but a little bit more difficult to implement. Here's something that I think makes this course worth it that people don't really talk about is that every single person gets a mentor you have their personal phone number. So throughout your career, you call them if you have any questions. If something didn't make sense to you, you call them. If you have a clinical case that you need help working out, you call them. To me, that's invaluable. That's super invaluable. A lot of people ask me like, how do you get a mentor? <laughs> how do you get a mentor? And if you go through the Koi system, you get one automatically. Now, whether you connect or click with that person, um, I guess it depends on who you get, but there were three mentors there. One of them was really like, I felt like he explained things in a way that I understood and he wasn't my assigned mentor. And so I asked him for his phone number and he was more than happy to give it to me. And I even warned him like, I'm gonna call you every day. And he was kind of like, do it. That's what we're here for. As far as the things that you're learning in the course, it's broken down into four sections. For me, I think the, meat of the course is in the biomechanical, functional, and dentofacial risk assessment. As far as the functional risk assessment, I think this is the number one reason that I took the course is for the occlusion. Occlusion is not ta taught very well in dental school. And I think if you're doing like conformative dentistry, which is like single unit crowns, then you you know, it, it becomes very simple. But actually when you dive into occlusion, you try to figure it out yourself, it's very, very complicated. And that's why these systems are <clears throat> so invaluable. I think envelope of function was always confusing to me in dental school. Um, and em envelope of function is a huge important part of figuring out why, you know, people are breaking their teeth or, you know, having problems. So, um, I think it was really, really interesting to actually be able to categorize the the occlusal, occlusal, you know, dysfunction that patients, most patients have, and be, from then you can figure out how to help them back to health instead of putting a night guard in them. You know, knowledge is power. So the more that you know, the better of a dentist you can be for your patients, and ultimately. Um, I find that the people who want to take this course, they have a desire to learn more and want to you know, be that person. Yes, it becomes more complicated if you do that, which is annoying for a lot of people, but it also will ignite that like inner part of you, that inner student in you that makes you feel really fulfilled in your career.